Lawrence Van Cott Niven, born April 30, 1938, is an American science fiction writer. His best known work is Ringworld, 1970, which received Hugo, Locus, Dittmar, and Nebula Awards. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America named him the 2015 recipient of the Damon Knight Memorial Grand Master Award. His work is primarily hard science fiction, using big science concepts and theoretical physics. It also often includes elements of detective fiction and adventure stories. His fantasy includes the series The Magic Goes Away, rational fantasy dealing with magic as a non-renewable resource. Topic. Biography Niven was born in Los Angeles. He is a great-grandson of Edward L. Doheny, an oil tycoon who drilled the first successful well in the Los Angeles City oil field in 1892 and was subsequently implicated in the Teapot Dome scandal. He briefly attended the California Institute of Technology and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics with a minor in Psychology from Washburn University in Topeka, Kansas in 1962. He also completed a year of graduate work in Mathematics at the University of California, Los Angeles. On September 6, 1969, he married Marilyn Joyce. Fuzzy Pink. Wissowady, a science fiction and Regency literature fan. He is an agnostic. Topic. Work Niven is the author of numerous science fiction short stories and novels, beginning with his 1964 story, The Coldest Place. In this story, the coldest place concerned is the dark side of Mercury, which at the time the story was written was thought to be tidally locked with the Sun it was found to rotate in a 2-3 resonance after Niven received payment for the story, but before it was published, Algus Budrys said in 1968 that Niven becoming a top writer despite the new wave was evidence that, "...trends are for second raters." In addition to the Nebula Award in 1970 and the Hugo and Locus Awards in 1971 for Ringworld, Niven won the Hugo Award for Best Short Story for Neutron Star in 1967. He won the same award in 1972, for Inconstant Moon, and in 1975 for The Whole Man. In 1976, he won the Hugo Award for Best Novelette for the Borderland of Saul. Niven has written scripts for three science fiction television series, the original Land of the Lost series, Star Trek, the animated series, for which he adapted his early story, The Soft Weapon, and The Outer Limits, for which he adapted his story, In Constant Moon, into an episode of the same name. Niven has also written for the DC Comics character Green Lantern including in his stories hard science fiction concepts such as Universal Entropy and the Redshift Effect. He has included limited psi gifts mind over matter in some characters in his stories, like Gil Hamilton's psychic arm which can only reach as far as a corporeal arm could, though it can, for example, reach through solid materials and manipulate objects on the other side, and through videophone screens, or Matt Keller's ability to make people not notice him. Several of his stories predicted the black market in transplant organs. Organlegging. Many of Niven's stories, sometimes called the tales of known space, take place in his known space universe, in which humanity shares the several habitable star systems nearest to the Sun with over a dozen alien species, including the aggressive feline Kazinti and the very intelligent but cowardly Pearson's puppeteers, which are frequently central characters. The Ringworld series is part of the Tales of Known Space, and Niven has shared the setting with other writers since a 1988 anthology, The Man Kazan Wars Bane Books, jointly edited with Jerry Purnell and Dean Ayn. There have been several volumes of short stories and novellas. 
Niven has also written a logical fantasy series The Magic Goes Away, which utilizes an exhaustible resource called mana to power a rule-based, technological, magic. The Draco Tavern series of short stories take place in a more light-hearted science fiction universe, and are told from the point of view of the proprietor of an omni-species bar. The Whimsical Svets series consists of a collection of short stories, The Flight of the Horse, and a novel, Rainbow Mars, which involve a nominal time machine sent back to retrieve long-extinct animals, but which travels, in fact, into alternative realities and brings back mythical creatures such as a rock and a unicorn. Much of his writing since the 1970s has been in collaboration, particularly with Jerry Purnell and Stephen Barnes, but also Brenda Cooper and Edward M. Lerner. Other works One of Niven's best-known humorous works is, Man of Steel, Woman of Kleenex in which he uses real-world physics to underline the difficulties of Superman and a human woman Lois Lane or Lana Lang mating, Niven appeared in the 1980 science documentary film Target. Earth Topic. Influence Niven's most famous contribution to the SF genre comes from his novel Ringworld, in which he envisions a ringworld, a band of material, roughly a million miles wide, of approximately the same diameter as Earth's orbit, rotating around a star. The idea's genesis came from Niven's attempts to imagine a more efficient version of a Dyson sphere, which could produce the effect of surface gravity through rotation. Given that spinning a Dyson sphere would result in the atmosphere pooling around the equator, the ringworld removes all the extraneous parts of the structure, leaving a spinning band landscaped on the sun-facing side, with the atmosphere and inhabitants kept in place through centrifugal force and 1,000 miles 1, kilometers high perimeter walls, rim walls. After publication of Ringworld, Dan Alderson and C. Tain, two fanish friends of Niven, analyzed the structure and told Niven that the Ringworld was dynamically unstable such that if the center of rotation drifts away from the central sun, gravitational forces will not re-center it, thus allowing the ring to eventually contact the sun and be destroyed. Niven used this as a core plot element in the sequel novel, The Ringworld Engineers. This idea proved influential, serving as an alternative to a full Dyson sphere that required fewer assumptions such as artificial gravity and allowed a day-night cycle to be introduced through the use of a smaller ring of shadow squares rotating between the ring and its sun. This was further developed by Ian M. Banks in his Culture series, which features about one one-hundredth ringworld-size megastructures called orbitals that orbit a star rather than encircling it entirely actual rings and Dyson spheres are also mentioned but are much rarer. Alistair Reynolds also uses ringworlds in his 2008 novel House of Suns. The Ringworld-like namesake of the Halo video game series is the eponymous Halo megastructure, Superweapon. The original release of Magic, The Gathering paid homage to Larry Niven on a card called Neveniral's Disc, with Neveniral being Larry Niven, spelled backwards. Subsequent sets have featured no new cards featuring Neveniral, although the character is sporadically quoted on the flavor text of various cards. Netrunner paid a similar homage to Larry Niven with the card, Neveniral. Topic. Policy involvement According to author Michael Moorcock, in 1967 Niven was among those science fiction writers of America members who voiced opposition to the Vietnam War. 
However, in 1968 Niven's name appeared in a pro-war ad in Galaxy Science Fiction. Niven was an advisor to Ronald Reagan on the creation of the Strategic Defense Initiative Anti-Missile Policy, as part of the Citizens Advisory Council on National Space Policy, as covered in the BBC documentary Pandora's Box by Adam Curtis. The Council also convinced Vice President Dan Quayle to support the single stage to orbit concept for a reusable spaceship that led to the building of the DCX. In 2007, Niven, in conjunction with a group of science fiction writers known as Sigma, led by Purnell, began advising the U.S. Department of Homeland Security as to future trends affecting terror policy and other topics. Among those topics was financial losses for hospitals, which Niven proposed to solve by spreading rumors in Latino communities that organs were being harvested illegally in hospitals. Topic. Niven's laws Larry Niven is also known in science fiction fandom for Niven's Law. There is no cause so right that one cannot find a fool following it." Over the course of his career Niven has added to this first law a list of Niven's laws which he describes as, "...how the universe works," as far as he can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Bibliography <laughs> <laughs>